In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods on the SK launcher. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser like you normally would. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by first downloading some mods for SK launcher. I recommend using the website cursedporch.com because this is a reliable website that has a bunch of Minecraft mods that you can install. So go ahead and select on Minecraft right over here. Then go ahead and scroll down and select on mods. From here, find a mod that you would like to install. For this video, let's keep it simple and download the Just Enough Items mod right over here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go over here and select on files and from here where it says game versions you want to go ahead and select the minecraft version you want to work with so for this video let's work with 1.21.10 then what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and download the most recent version or whichever version you want. But I want you to take note of this right over here. So underneath mod loaders, it's going to say NeoForge or Fabric or Forge. You just want to make sure that you actually know what game version it is and what mod loader it runs on. So remember, the one we're going to be downloading works for NeoForge, the mod loader and the game version 1.21.10. But anyways, now that we have that out of the way, press these three buttons, then go ahead and press on download file. Then it is going to begin installing within a couple seconds. And if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24 7 unlimited slot server for you and all of your friends. The best part about having your own Minecraft server is that you can control every single thing. You can make your server Java only, Bedrock only, include mods, mod packs, and plugins all with the click of a single button. At the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, so go to the top right and just make sure to go ahead and select on download file just like so. And what I recommend that you guys do is actually drag and drop your mod file to your desktop just like this because it will make the process significantly easier. But anyways, from here, open up SK Launcher, then press on this plus button right over here. And we're basically going to be creating a new installation. So where it says installation name, you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna be calling it JEI, the name of the mod. And where it says version, this is where you want to go ahead and actually select the mod loader. So remember, the mod loader for this mod in particular was NeoForge. So I'm going to select on NeoForge. And obviously, you want to make sure that you have the right version of Minecraft selected. In our instance, we are working with 1.21.10. All right, then from here, what you want to do is you want to press on use a separate instance folder, then go ahead and press on save. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play just like so. And that is because we first need to load into the mod loader before we're able to add mods. So what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and wait for Minecraft to load in. All right, once Minecraft finished loading in, go ahead and close out of it. Then open up the SK Launcher one more time. There you go. And this time you want to press on these three dots on the installation and you want to select on open installation directory. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the folder called mods in all lowercase and open it up. Now from here, drag and drop the mod that you installed previously inside of the mods folder, just like so. Then once inside the mods folder, you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder. Then this time, go ahead and make sure that it is selected and press on play just like so. It is now going to go ahead and load in the SK launcher with the mod that you just installed. All right, guys, here we are in Minecraft and let's load into a world. All right, guys, as you're able to tell, this mod actually did work. Here is the just enough items menu. And as you're able to tell, it did get the job done. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.